Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all water signs. Perhaps your story isn't here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. We have the Six of Wands, the Two of Swords, then we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Fool and the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So this is a very interesting spread, and it kind of reminds me of a theater play. Uh, so Act 1 is the Six of Wands, then there is an intermission. <laughs> then we have the Seven of Wands as a second part of the play, right? And uh, eventually there will be an outcome with the Fool and the Two of Cups. Um, so I think somebody is going to be uh, very persistent, and they're going to come forward with the Six of uh, Wands, the first card on the left. This is a card of a victory, but most likely this is going to be some kind of an offer or a proposition. Back in the day, the 601s used to be called the proposal card. It could be a proposal. Then we have the Two of Swords, and the way <clears throat> I see the Two of Swords is uh, somebody is going to say no to the 601s, right? Hence the intermission. <laughs> two of Swords is somebody who is closed off. Then the person making the offer, the person who came forward, is going to retract, think about it real quick, and then they're going to uh, make a second attempt, but this time it's going to be a seven of wands. So this time they're going to be more persistent. They will push their agenda through. And uh, this whole spread could be about love or it could be about work or finances. So it could be um, some kind of a deal uh, that somebody is trying to push through and uh, the two or two sides two parties get together but they don't like the uh, the offer so everybody goes back to their corners and then they get back together and with the seven of wands there will be an agreement reached but one of the sides will really really push their agenda through and uh, yeah if somebody proposes but gets a rejection they're going to try again much harder the second time around and their proposal will be <laughs> accepted. Um, the full card is um, taking a leap of faith, right? So this is a new beginning. So the, the receiving side of the situation will say, you know what, the heck of it, yeah, you wore me down, I'm taking a leap of faith, I'm caving in, I'm capitulating. Yeah, let's go for it, let's do it. And um, the tea of cups on the bottom of the deck, it could be about love, or it could be about business or work. So if this is about business or work, then this is a contract being signed or some kind of paperwork is being signed, right? People are shaking hands. If this is about love, then uh, yeah, if the person or both parties will realize, yeah, this there is love there and uh, the person who was uh, making all those points with the 701s is actually right, yeah. We should definitely give this a shot. There's definitely love here. There's uh, definitely uh, potential here. So the outcome is, uh, is really good. Uh, the Tea of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love or actually business. Yeah, because two people are on the same page. Yeah, and the feelings are mutual. And the Fool is a brand new beginning. So whatever it is, it's looking pretty good. Water signs. Cancer. We have the Page of Wands, we have the Hierophant, we have the Queen of Pentacles and uh, the Hermit on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. So what's interesting here is that the Queen of Pentacles is an Earth sign in general, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And the Hierophant is the personal Taurus card and the Hermit is the personal Virgo so you could be dealing with either one of those signs or an earth sign in general but those two signs are here um, they come through very strongly so we have the page of ones the first card on the left this is communication um, or it could be all about a kid if you share a kid with somebody then it's going to be something in regards to this child I'm not really sure but uh, perhaps the two of you are just dealing with a kid, you're spending time with a child, right? Um, but uh, if we want to stay general, the page of wands is um, all about flirting, it's all about a passionate communication, sending each other text messages, but uh, hinting on uh, something more than just <laughs> communication, hinting on spending time together behind closed doors, something like that, right? 
uh, the higher front is either a Taurus you're dealing with or this is um, your significant other, right? The higher front is uh, about something traditional like a marriage or a committed relationship. Perhaps one of you was feeling lonely or um, one of you, you got into a fight or you had some kind of a um, fallout with your significant other or your boyfriend or your girlfriend and the hermit card here symbolizes spending time by yourself but somebody wants to uh, reverse that with the page of wands and they're going to be reaching out it could be you or it could be them but most likely you are dealing with an earth sign towards Virgo and Capricorn so I do see you getting together either during this weekend or at some point beyond this weekend but yeah there will be a get together and, and it's going to start with this page of one, something flirty, something lusty, something funny, something silly. But um, it will have a committed possible outcome with the Hierophant card. Alright? Cool. Scorpio, we have the Temperance card, we have the Nine of Swords, we have the Page of Swords and the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. So you have someone, most likely an ex, who desperately wants to reconcile with you. It could be a Sagittarius, but if we want to stay general, temperance is all about reconciliations in this case. And this person is uh, really stressed out about this breakup that happened between the two of you. The Nine of Swords is a card of uh, being stressed out. This is a card of uh, depression. This is a card of somebody stressing out, right? Yeah, so the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck, this is also a card of somebody who has regrets about the way things ended between the two of you, regrets that it actually ended. And we've got the Page of Swords, this is either that person spying on you, or there will be a communication between the two of you. They will eventually reach out with the Page of Swords, and... Uh, they're not going to be beating around the bush, they will just tell you straight up the way they feel and uh, they are really sad and they do want to get back together with you. But I don't know what you're going to do. But I do like the presence of the Temperance card. This is a major arcana and uh, it's all about reconciling or it's all about uh, healing the situation. But if they reach out to you, Scorpio, I think it will be up to you what you want to do with it. Do you want to give this person another shot or do you want to send them back to the past where they may belong. So yeah, you will be in charge of the situation, Scorpio. But do let them know if they get, get out and uh, let you know. Pisces, we have the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Four of Swords. Then we have the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups. We have the Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or another Pisces. There's so much water we're all drowning here. <laughs> so uh, it could be another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, or it could be you, Pisces, who is going to be um, reaching out to another person and uh, offering them love. You could be confessing love. There is, like I said, so many cops card, it's just an endless ocean of emotions here. So the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Four of Swords, the first two cards on the left. Um, I think somebody's been kind of uh, preparing themselves or manning up or womaning up to make an offer to the other person. Most likely it is you, Pisces, because like I said, lots of water here. So they've been, or you've been, thinking about the best way to confess your love, the best way to approach... Uh, the other person, perhaps you are just looking at what they are doing or if you are going to the same event over the weekend then you're just in the planning stages with the Four of Swords but it's a big, big burden for you because uh, perhaps you're afraid of a rejection or you're afraid that uh, you just it's just not gonna happen for you but um, rest assured Pisces it's going to happen by if we want to believe these cards, and I think we should. <laughs> so we've got the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is a um, love offer or a water sign you're dealing with. To me personally, the Knight of Cups represents someone who's got really deep, uh, authentic emotions towards the other person, right? 
And uh, the Knight of Cups is carrying a cup of love, a cup of emotions, and that's the cup we see in the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups. It's that same cup. <laughs> it's just uh, amplified by all these cards. Lots of emotions, lots of love. And uh, the outcome is the Two of Cups. So yay, congratulations Pisces. The Two of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. This is soulmate love, unconditional love. To me personally, Two of Cups represents um, two people who are on the same page and the feelings are mutual. So yeah, Pisces, if you are the one reaching out to the other person, do not take this spread for granted. Still do your homework. Uh, work out the best way, make it all pretty and romantic and uh, perhaps you can give them flowers and send them emails, just do the work and uh, if you do that then the outcome is just amazing, alright, Two of Cups with the Ace of Cups and all the other Cups card, yeah, we all know that uh, there's definitely love here and I'm pretty sure the feelings are mutual with this Two of Cups energy, so Pisces, congratulations. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.